summer, the Austin City Council made camping, sitting, and lying perfectly legal in Austin. Panhandling at any time also okay as long as it wasn't being done in a threatening way. Cue the public outcry. In October, council rolled back and clarified some of what they'd done, like making it illegal to camp on city sidewalks. But those revisions didn't go far enough for the coalition Save Austin Now. They're wanting to go back to how things were before. I'm here with co-founder of Save Austin Now, Matt Makoviak. First of all, just kind of talk about what Save Austin Now is. It started last summer. Yeah, we started a, a nonpartisan nonprofit called Save Austin Now that's going to focus on standard of living issues, issues that affect families in every neighborhood of our city. I started it with a local Democrat named Cleo Petrasek. Uh, it's a nonprofit organization. SaveAustinNow.com is our website. Our first initiative uh, is to put on the ballot uh, an ordinance that would overturn the, the camping ordinance that the city put in place in July of last year. So we believe that from a public safety, public health, tourism, economic standpoint, uh, it's, it's time to go back to where we're in June, go back to our city being safe and welcoming, while a lot of other good people are focused on ramping up housing and shelters for the homeless community, which is happening. You're seeing it at the city level with the Salvation Army, with Mobile Loaves and Fish, with the Austin Chamber, a lot of good efforts going on there. Our view is that a majority of the residents of Austin do not want camping to be allowed throughout our city. Violent crime is up. We're having fires happen in some of these homeless encampments, needles, all kinds of things, horrific things happening like rapes and stabbings. I mean, it, it is a, a, a really drastic situation. Uh, and I didn't feel like we could wait for the legislature to act next year to have something take effect in September of 2021. Uh, this would take effect this November if we can get on the ballot. And so we need people who support us to go to SaveAustinNow.com, download the form, and send it in, which they can send in by email, by fax, or by mail, to help us get on the ballot. If we get on the ballot, we're going to win. Okay. And one of the things y'all are hoping to include in this new ordinance is a panhandling ban from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Uh, I remember the Austin City Council saying the reason why they took that away in the first place was because uh, freedom of freedom of speech. You can't tell somebody not to simply ask for money as long as they're doing it in a non-threatening way. What What's your take on that? Do you think this is going to be okay legally? So our ordinance has three parts. The first part is we're reinstating the ban on homeless camping citywide. It goes back to where we were in June. The second thing is we're restoring the sit lie ordinance, which used to be in effect in downtown only. We're going to put it back in downtown. We're going to also put it in the UT campus and the two and a half mile area surrounding the UT campus. Same model that's used at the University of Southern California, which has been very effective. The third piece, as you said, is banning uh, panhandling at night from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. No question there are some First Amendment issues. A person can hold a sign that says anything that's not vulgar or threatening. Uh, but we believe that panhandling at night uh, makes people feel unsafe. And in many cases, uh, they are unsafe. We feel people should feel safe in our city. And right now, people don't feel safe. And that is why there is a need for this ordinance. It's why we have over 90,000 online signatures as part of our community. But now we need hard signatures, and we need 20,000 people to step up. And so we need people to download the form at saveaustinnow.com, and we need people to contribute, because it's going to take some money to put this effort together to be successful. Last question. A lot of the citizen-led ballot measures as of late haven't been successful in the end. Is that a fear? We believe if we get on the ballot, we're going to succeed. And so the question is, can we collect 20,000 signatures over the next four months? It's 133 signatures a day, every day, for the next four months. Uh, we're ahead of schedule now. Uh, and I think with the March 3rd election day and the March 26th runoff, primarily runoff election day, we have opportunities to collect lots of signatures on those days. So yes, but we need help. We need volunteers. We need resources, and we need people who, who agree with us to download that form. Uh, I believe we're going to succeed. I do feel good about it. I think we have 80 or 90 percent support among the residents of our city. I really do feel that way. Based on all the feedback, based on some private polling I've seen, uh, the mayor and the council are on the wrong side of this issue. And they're going to do everything they can. They're going to sue. They're going to mess around with the ballot language. They're going to try to instill fear. They're going to attack people behind this. But they can't. They can't persuade people on the issue. They cannot persuade people who live here that we are a safer city now than we were in June. Matt McCovac with Save Austin Now. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you.